Hey John, thanks for having me in today. My name is Erin Allen. I am an account executive here at Ariba. I have been here for about four years now and specifically I've worked on the retail team in the last two years and have had the opportunity to work with Target, Dick Sporting Goods, and Sports Authority, just helping them cut costs, lower their risks, and increase their efficiencies across their entire supply chain. Um, before we get started, I just want to make sure we're still good for about 15 minutes. Okay, perfect. So what I'd like to do today is, is first just kind of go over the challenges that I discussed with your team last week. I'm kind of kind of outline the AP processes on the board here. And once we get through the challenges, I really want to see where we could best partner with the sports store to have a great outcome for you guys. And I'll share a customer story at the very end and see what we've been able to do for other retailers in this space as well. So does that sound good? Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and start by forwarding the back here. Okay, so starting with receipt and capture, this is really what's taking place outside the Fort Wilds Zero organization. So I know from meeting with your team last week, you guys have about 1.2 million invoices coming in the sports store each and every year. And those invoices are coming in mostly EDI, <clears throat> about 70%. And the remainder of those are coming in manually, so basically paper invoices, um, emails or faxes that your team's kind of having to distribute to figure out where, that's, where it's going once it needs to get paid. Now I know from meeting with your team on your exceptions and approvals, you guys are about 40% exception rate. So 40% of those invoices that are coming in each and every year, 40% of those have some kind of error that needs to be corrected. So let's do some quick math here. 40% of your 1.2 million invoices, that's about 480,000 invoices that need to be corrected. So industry standard says anywhere from $10 to $20 per invoice is what it costs to correct those before they're ready to pay. So and we're just conservative here and we say $10. Um, $10 times your 480,000 invoices, that is $4.8 million your team is spending on just correcting those invoices and getting them ready to pay to your, to your supplier. So that's a huge number, huge number. Also, meeting with your team, we found that you guys really don't have a formal process when you're tracking these exceptions. So depending on the type of spend is a different channel for how that actually gets corrected, whether you kick it back to procurement, whether you send it back to the supplier. Um, it really just depends on the type of spend. but. From meeting with your team, I've kind of sensed some tension between procurement and AP, so I think that, you know, without having this normal process, there's some tension forming there. And because you guys don't have this formal process, you really don't have any visibility into where these exceptions are. So once you do pass it back to procurement, you don't really know where it is of procurement, and, and once procurement sends it back over to you, they don't know if what they did was okay either. So across the board, there's a lack of visibility. And lastly, another huge issue on those exceptions is your VAT compliance. And so working with a lot of companies over in Europe, um, a lot of those VAT issues are reflecting on invoices, and that's why you guys have those exception rates. Then moving on to discounts, um, as far as I can tell, you guys aren't really tracking these. No really formal process here. And lastly, with payments and settlements, um, depending on the type of spend, whether it's direct, indirect, um, your service aside, your cycle times are kind of all over the place. But I would say on average, you guys are about 25 days. And you really aren't too bad off. The industry standard is about 23 days, so you guys are pretty good there. Um, but because your cycle times are kind of all over the place, what's happening is a lot of those suppliers are wondering when they're getting paid. So you guys are facing a high number of suppliers reaching out to you guys 
wondering when they're going to get paid. So you have a dedicated team answering the phones, and so it's a huge resource side on your end. So have I summed up kind of your process currently, what you guys are experiencing? Okay, perfect. Well, just taking a look at this right here, I can see where Ariba could really help the sports store and where I think best we might be able to partner with you. And, and to be honest, one of the biggest areas that would have an immediate impact is the Ariba network. network and I kind of explained this to your team already um, but essentially you the buyer would join this network and be able to connect with all your different suppliers so it's one to many connection so it's one login for you one login with your suppliers it's, it's not like EDI that you guys currently do where it's a one to one so you have many different tubes going out to your different suppliers you log into the network and you have access to all your suppliers and just in this one place here and so you'll be sending your POs and your invoice all across this network. And really our goal with the Reba is to get you guys to 80 to 90% automated and touchless. And what I mean by touchless is, and imagine an environment where when you receive your invoice, it's automatically ready to pay. There's no exceptions on it. It doesn't need to be back to the procurement. You don't need to send it back to the supplier to figure out what the, what the issue is. So really how we do this is, our network is intelligent. It's not just a normal portal that you would go out to and in a way to connect your suppliers. It really has intelligence built into it. And that's how we create this touchless environment. So it actually has two, three, and four-way matching. But not only does it have the current two, three, four-way matching, because I know you guys are already doing two and three already, but we also call it smart. And what I mean by smart is, when we set you guys up on the front end, you guys can create about 80 business rules that you can tie into the network. So that way when your invoice comes back over from the supplier, if that invoice doesn't match all that criteria that you guys have set up on the front end, it goes back to the supplier. And it will come back into your system until it's ready to pay. And all those criteria criteria have been corrected on the supplier side. So when it is coming in, it's ready to pay, and it's, it is touchless on your end. Another area the Ariba Network can help with is uh, your non, your invoices that are coming in that have non-POs tied to them, all your services that we've talked about. So what the um, Ariba Network can do is, once you guys get those invoices, the invoice can go off the contract that you have. So that way, even if there's no PO, we can still match that invoice to make sure it is the correct amount, and you will be paying the correct amount. So we can help with those coding and the routing of those non-PO invoices. Another huge issue with the Ariba network is, I mentioned that your buyers and your suppliers can log into it. So because your suppliers have access to this network, they're going to have visibility into the entire process as well. So those high number of inquiries you guys are facing right now, and tying up all those resources on your end, they can just log in and see exactly where that invoice is, exactly what's going to be paid, and when they should expect that money in their account. Another huge area of the network is its VAT compliance. So I mentioned that Ariba is a, a truly global company, and the fact that we're truly global, we are completely VAT compliant in many different countries. And so when those invoices are coming in from those different countries, whether they're in Europe or what have you, they're going to be 100% right with that VAT tax. And so you won't have to worry about those issues on those um, invoices going forward. So as a whole, the Ariba network is not only going to automate your PO and invoice system, your document automation, but what it's going to do is really going to create that touchless environment where your folks are more hands-off and then invoices are going to be ready to pay automatically. And so not only is this going to be a huge price reduction on those 4.8 million invoices, because we're hoping to get this, obviously, exception rate down, but it's also going to take out 40 to 60 percent labor reduction on your team just because more resources are going to be freed up to do more critically function activities for your team. Now the second area I wanted to focus on is Ariba Pay. <clears throat> so I know from meeting with your team, you guys have um, an ACH initiative currently in place. 
or a better way to pay your suppliers more effectively, more efficiently. So from meeting with them last week, I know you guys are about 28% ACH worldwide, and most of that number is, is out in Europe. And so what I want to do is, is kind of mention Ariba Pay, which is a single interface that's going to run through the network. And so you guys, just like you would log into the network for your POs, your invoices, what have you, it's also the same single interface that you will pay to your suppliers. They're EFT, so electronic transfer funds, but it's more secure than ACH because right now you guys are having to house all of your suppliers' bank information on your own servers. So you could imagine if you had a data breach and all those numbers got taken, that would be huge, huge on your end. So actually none of that will be housed on your server, so it's much more secure. And those funds are actually going to be transferred quicker and more efficient than via ACH. So these are two huge components I think SportsOr could really benefit from. Uh, but before we continue, I do want to leave you with a, a quick story. You guys remind me so much of UPS. They had about 26 day cycle time also using SAP. And once we were able to come in and implement our document automation with the network, uh, we were able to get their cycle time down to five or six days. So a huge improvement. And being that they were able to get down to five or six days, they started taking advantage of early discounts. And um, this is something I really look forward to talking with your treasury team about when we get to that stage. So if you don't have any questions, um, what I'd like to do is, is schedule a time for us to come back with my solution consult so we can really take a deeper dive and learn best where we can partner with you guys. Does that sound fair? Great. Thank you so much.